Welcome back to our art studio, guys. My name is Miss Sarah, and today we are going to be doing a painting. Oh wait, there's already a painting. Do you guys remember who painted it last week and who, who brought your message? Could you say that again, just a little bit louder? You're right, Miss Tammy. And today we are going to continue on our series talking about how God lovingly created and uniquely designed each of us. Today we are going to learn more about how God uniquely designed us. And in our story today, we are going to learn that we have different gifts, abilities, and talents to serve God and His purpose and plan for us. But before that, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for everything you've provided us with today. Thank you for this ability to connect um, with one another. God, I pray as we go on through this season that we continue to worship your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, awesome guys. We are going to sing our song now. So if you guys are ready, let's get up and dance. You guys stomp your feet like that? And let's clap together. That's it. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I right, keep clapping now. Sounds good. Huh. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. That sounds so good. That's called clapping on the back beat. All right, sing this real quiet with me now. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Our story today comes from a book called Second Kings, and this book is about the kings in the Bible times. And you see, this book is in the Old Testament, so it was before Jesus came and died for our sins. So things were a little bit different back then. So let's go ahead and read, and read Second Kings 22, 1 through 2. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 31 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jedidah, the daughter of Adiah of Bozkath. And he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and walked in all the way of David, his father. And he did not turn aside to the right or to the left. Wow, Josiah was only eight when he became king. Isn't that crazy? If you guys are eight right now or have been eight, you might think that's unbelievable. But what I love about this story is Josiah uses his gift to do something good for the Lord. When he was only 18, which is still pretty young, he decided, hmm, 
I want to do something good. Let's build up a church and pay everyone that was working on it for their works. So that is only one of the good things that he did. So let's watch our video and see what else he did. Stories of the Bible. Josiah. This is Josiah. Hey -o. Josiah became king of Israel when he was only eight years old. Yep. Now the country of Israel had a very long line of kings who did many bad things, including Josiah's father and grandfather. These kings did not follow after God, and they ignored his commandments and his law. But when Josiah became king, he did what God wanted him to and followed the example of King David. Yeah! Eighteen years after Josiah became king, he sent one of his court secretary, Shaphan, to God's temple. Thank you. Many of the kings before Josiah did not take good care of God's house, so it was in need of repair. Hmm. Oh. While they were in the temple, Hilkiah, the high priest, said to Shaphan, Hey! I have found the book of the law in the Lord's temple. So Shaphan took the scroll back to King Josiah and read it to him. <laughs> when Josiah heard what was in the book, he was greatly upset. Oh no! Because the people of Israel were not doing the things that God asked him to do, and Josiah knew that God must be angry with Israel for not obeying his commandments. Josiah gathered together all the people of Israel to the temple and read the entire book of the covenant to them. That very day, Josiah and all the people promised that they would obey all of what God commanded with all their hearts and souls. Josiah went on to help Israel become a people fully committed to God. He tore down all the other temples and the idols that they had set up. He got rid of all the people who were doing bad things all throughout Israel. And he did all that was commanded in God's book. Never before had there been a king like Josiah who turned to the Lord with all his heart and soul and strength, obeying all the laws of Moses. And there has never been a king like him since. Wow, Josiah was so different from the other kings. He had wisdom and a heart to pursue and please God. You see, the other kings didn't have that. God knew that Josiah would love him and obey him and do what was good and right. You know, Josiah didn't just leave the gifts that God gave him. He used them. And sometimes we're not perfect, but you know what? That's one of the gifts that God gives us, and He can even use our imperfections to please Him and pursue Him. So, I have this backpack, and I have some special things in it. So let's look and see what's in it. Now, when you look at a backpack, you think, hmm, maybe there's a notebook in there, or a binder, or a pencil. But this one's a little different. Let's see what's inside of it. <gasps> There's a hammer in here. What can a hammer be used for? Hmm. It can be used to help a missionary build a church in a different country or even in our own country. Interesting. Let's see what else is in here. There is a doggy bowl. Hmm. Do you guys have any pets? Well, if you do, you know that it's important to take care of them. You see, they are God's creation too. And in, and in taking care of God's creation, we can glorify Him. Now, I think I have a few more things. Let's see. <gasps> There's a microphone. Now, when we think of a microphone, we might think of people singing at church. Or maybe you use it when you want someone to hear you say something good about God. I think we have one more thing. Oh, it's the Bible. Wow. You know, the Bible is God's word. 
And it is so awesome that God gave us this wonderful gift. And out of all these gifts that he gives us, out of all the talents that he gives us, out of all all the different things that we can do, I think this one is the most important because we can get to know him better. So this is a very important tool. Now, the cool thing is that we are actually going to open it up and read a little bit more, and it's going to be our memory verse. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do good things he planned for us long ago. Ephesians 2.10 Boys and girls, I hope that as you go into this week, you remember that you are God's masterpiece. And just like Josiah, God has given you special talents and gifts and abilities that make you unique. And that is awesome. So don't forget that. Now, I have a few more things to let you guys know. One, you guys can always contact us if you need anything. Miss Tammy and Miss Manny's um, information will pop up on the screen after our song. And we would love to see more pictures of you guys, so make sure you send that too. Now, we are going to pray um, before we sing our last song. So if everyone wants to join me, let's, see, let's pray to God. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful, um, this wonderful Bible that you have provided us with. Thank you for providing us with your word and your presence. God, I pray that we go into this week remembering that we are your masterpiece and you have made us unique and wonderful, God. We thank you for everything you have done for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I hope you guys have an awesome week. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. You are my rock, my everything As the world shakes, shakes and things break, break.